Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sat reading a book and my dog's at the side of me, so I apologise if you're in a noise from the dogs. So I'm going to read a fairy tale. And it's a British fairy tale. It's called Tom Tit Tot. I've scanned through it and I'll be honest, some of the words are spelt very different. Skins is spelt differently, even though it says skins. And there are a few words that I'm not used to. So we, we will see how it goes. Um, and I shall tell the story best that I can, I suppose. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a woman. She baked five pies. And when they came out of the oven, they were overbaked. The crust was too hard to eat, so she said to her daughter, Put them pies on the shelf, she said, and leave them a little, and they'll come again. She means, you know, that the crust would get soft. But the girl, she said to herself, if they'll come again, I'll eat them now. And she set to work and ate them all, first and last. Welcome supper time, the woman, she said. Go you, get me one of them pies there. I dare say they've come again now. The girl, she went, and she looked, and there wasn't nothing but the dishes. So back she came and said, No, they ain't come again. None of them, said the mother. None of them, said she. Well, come again and not come again, said the woman. I'll have one for supper. But you can't if they ain't come again, said the girl. But I can, said she. Go you. And bring me the best of them. Best or worst, said the girl, I've ate them all, and you can't have one till it's come again. Well, the woman, she was wholly hit, and she took her spinning to the door to spin. And so she spun, she sang. My daughter ate five, five pies today. My daughter ate five. Five pies today. The king was coming down the street and he heard the song but could not hear exactly what she was singing. So he stopped and said, What was that you were singing of? The woman. She was so ashamed. She was ashamed to let him know what her daughter had actually been doing. So instead, she sang. My daughter spun five five skins today. My daughter spun five five skins today. Stars of mine, said the king. I never heard anyone who could do that. Then he said, Look you here, I want a wife, and I'll marry your daughter. But look you here, he said, eleven months out of twelve. She shall have all the victuals she likes to eat. She shall have all the gams she likes to get. And all the company she likes to keep. But on the last month of the year, she'll have to spun five skins every day. And if she doesn't, I shall kill her. All right, said the woman. For... She thought this was a good marriage and she figured that by this time came the twelve, of course, that maybe the king would have forgotten or they would find another way of being able to get the skins. Well, they married and for eleven months the girl did get all the victuals she could eat, all the gowns that she liked to get and all the company that she could keep. But when the time was getting over, she began to think about the skins. And, in wonder, she wondered in his mind if he had thought about it. But not one word did he say about it. And she wholly thought he'd forgotten. However, the last day of the eleventh month, he took her to a room she'd never seen before. There was nothing in it but a spinning wheel and a stool. And she said, Is this my room? He did say to her. Now, my dear, here you'll be shut in tomorrow. 
with some victuals and some furs. And if you haven't spun the skins by the night, your head'll go off. And away he went about his business. Well, she was that frightened. She'd always been such a headless girl and she didn't so much know how to spin. And what would she do tomorrow with no one to come and help her? So she sat down in a stool, on a stool in the kitchen and she did begin to cry. She cried and cried and cried. All of a sudden, she heard a knock at the door. She upped and opened it and what should she see but a small little black thing with a long tail. It looked up at her right curious and it said, What are you crying for? What's that to you? she said. Never you mind, it said, but tell me what you're crying for. It don't do me no good if I do, she said. You don't know that, it said, and twirled its tail around. Well, she said, it won't do no harm, but if it don't do no good. And she upped and told about the pies and the skins and everything. This is what I'll do, said the little black thing. I'll come to your window every morning and take the furs and bring it spun at night. What's your pay, she said. It looked out of the corners of its eyes and it said, I'll give you three guesses every night to guess my name. And if you haven't, well... If you haven't guessed my name before the month's up, you shall be mine. All right. All right, she said. I agree. All right, it said. And it twirled its tail and left. The next day, her husband, he took her into the room. And there was furs and the day's victuals. Now, there's the flux, said he. And if that ain't spun up this night, off goes your head. And then he went out and locked the door. He'd hardly gone when there was a knocking against the window. She opened it and there, sure enough, was the little odd thing string on the ledge sitting looking at her hmm where's the flax it said here it is she said she gave it him well come the evening a knocking fell on the window yet again she opened it and there was a little odd thing with five skins of flax on its arm here it be it said and it gave the flax to the girl now, what's my name? Mm, will it be Bill, she said. No, it ain't, it said, and it twirled its tail. Is it Ned, she said. No, it ain't, it said, and twirled its tail. Is it Dick, she said. No, it ain't, it said, and it twirled its tail harder, and away it went. Well, when the husband came in, there were the five skins, ready for him. I see. I shan't have to kill you tonight, my dear, said he. You'll have your victuals, your flax in the morning, said he, and away he went. Well, every day the flax and the victuals and the furs were brought, and every day that the little black imp used to come mornings and used to come evenings. And all the day the girl was sat trying to think of names to say to it when it come at night. But she never hit the right one. And she tried and tried until it was towards the end of the month. 
the imp, it began to look more malice, definitely maliceful. And it twirled its tail faster and faster each time she gave it a guess. It come to the last day, but one. The imper it began at night, along with the five skins, and it said, What? Ain't you got my name yet? Is it Rob? She said. No, it ain't, it said. Is it Hob? She said. No, it ain't, it said. Is it Lob? She said. No, it ain't that neither, it said. Then it looked at her with its eyes. Its eyes were burning like coals in fire. And it said, woman, there's only tomorrow night. And then you'll be mine. And away it flew. Well, she felt horrid. However, she heard the king coming along the passage. In he came, and when he saw the five skins, Well, my dear, I don't see that you'll have your skins ready tomorrow night as well. I don't see, don't see how. I reckon I shan't have to kill you. I'll have supper in here tonight. So they brought supper and another stool for him and down the two they sat. Now he hadn't even eaten but a mouthful or so when he stopped and began to laugh. What is it, she said. Why, said he, I was out hunting today and I got away to a place in the wood I'd never been before. There was an old chalk pit, and I heard a sort of humming, kind of. So I got off my bobby, and I went right quiet towards the pit. And I looked down. Well, what was there? There, he said, was the funniest little black thing. The funniest little black thing you ever laid eyes on. And what was he doing? What was he doing? It had a little spinning wheel and it was spinning wonderful, twirling spins. It was very fast, but it was twirling its tail, twirling its tail and spinning. And as it spun, it sang. Nimmy, nummy, not. My my name's Tom's Tit Tot. Nummy, nimmy, not. My name's Tom Tit Tot. Nimmy, nummy, no. My name's Tom Tit Tot. Well, when the girl heard this, she figured this could be the name, and she nearly jumped out of her skin for joy, but she didn't say a word. The next day, that there little thing looked with malice when it come for the flax. And that night she heard it knocking against the window panes. She opened the window and it came right in. Jumped off the ledge and it was grinning from ear to ear. Its tail was twirling round and round so very fast. What's my name, it said, as it gave her the skins. Is it Bullbegger, she said, pretending to be afraid. No, it ain't, it said, and it came further into the room. Is it Chubbernapper, said she. No, it ain't, said the impet, and it laughed and twirled its tail till you couldn't hardly see it. Take time, woman, it said. Next guess, and you're mine. And it stretched out its black hands to her. She backed a step or two, and she looked at it. 
And then she laughed out. She laughed out loud and she said, pointing her finger at it, Nimi, Nimi Noo. Your name's Tim Tit Tot. Nimi, Nimi Noo. Your name's Tom Tit Tot. Well, when it heard her, it shrieked awful. And away it flew, into the dark, and she never saw it ever again. And that was the tale of Tom Tit Tot. Now, it's an old book, and some of the words are not quite readable, so I've done the best that I can. As you know, with old books, they degrade over time, and it's just unfortunate that some of the words just barely readable so I've done my best and um, I'm sorry if it's not quite right but I do promise that I did try my best um I think you all probably gathered that that's the story of um something else but I mean these are before they were changed so that's why it sounds very different but Thank you for bearing with me and thank you for listening. I am reading many more, as you know, but I would like to share them and, and read them with you guys and let you see the differences. Please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And feel free to share if you like. Many blessings. Thank you for listening.